But let's jump right in and talk about some of the key activities associated with entrepreneurship or the entrepreneurial effort, enterprise, the entrepreneurial enterprise. The first is to look around, find out what's not working right or what isn't, what needs aren't being fulfilled, how things are changing and aren't being supported, and identify an opportunity. The, um, the very next module of this series will be all about opportunities. And in fact, even in this introductory one in a future video, uh, in, the, in the next, I think it's the next or two, two videos down the line, we actually will talk about opportunities uh, a little bit. But the idea is things change. Events happen. Uh, markets change. People move. Different kinds of people are involved. New technologies are invented. The economy changes. And because of that, opportunities present themselves. Identifying those opportunities, of course, is the very first step. An important concept in all of business, but what we'll really spend a lot of time focusing on in, over the course of this entire class, all of the modules in this entrepreneurship class, we'll talk about the business model. Business model means an opportunity presents itself. It has to be organized, activity has to be organized in such a way that it can be sustained. In, things have to flow in, resources have to flow in. Some resources flow out, people get paid, suppliers get paid for their services, um, uh, supplies are per purchased, uh, any, whatever it is that you need, but enough is flowing in that it can support what has to flow out and still have stuff in, have leftover resources that you can continue to invest in the business. Cash flow builds up. You can continue to build inventory or make investments in the future, develop new products and services, expand your operation. So the business model describes how that self-sustaining dynamic is built up over time. How revenue comes in, how costs are expended, and therefore how your value proposition, which is what you give to customers in excess of what they could have gotten elsewhere, how that value proposition allows you to build up a resource supply, build up investment, build up cash flow, and move forward in a self-sustaining growing enterprise. That is the business model. You have to figure that out. And that's really one of the harder parts of the conceptual parts of starting a venture. Once you've figured out how you might organize to take advantage of an opportunity to support it, to build on something that makes change happen, the next thing you have to do is you have to figure out how to organize a team, get the resources, create through your social network, through people you know, suppliers, social capital, they call it, knowing where to get what, where to buy all the products you need, where to get the skills you need to build your website, to do your accounting, your legal, all of that activity, as well as people you work with every day, like team members or people you hire, pull all of that together to actually realize and operationalize that business model that you have going forward. Key activities then of get yourself organized is finding that opportunity, figuring out how you can make money at it or bring in enough that you can continue to grow and sustain it and expand if necessary, continue it going on its own with its own energy, and then also organizing all the activities associated with making that happen. Those are the key things that are involved in the entrepreneurial process. We'll talk more about that later. One other thing I want to point out at this point in time, we don't really talk about this much elsewhere, but those activities I just described, and in fact, almost everything we talk about in this module, but also all the other modules in the entire course, is not only true within a startup business, but is also how companies like Google, like Facebook, like Mobile Exxon, uh, Exxon Mobile, um, when they find a new gas place, they have to discover it, they have to find the opportunity, they have to organize their resources. It's all the same process. It's the renewal as the environment, the markets, the economic situation changes, new opportunities arise and it renews the organization with new ways to bring in resources, new ways to grow, new ways to expand. We call that entrepreneurship for its intra, inside companies or corporate entrepreneurship I personally was involved in the internal venture group within 
a company I was involved with, AT&T, the telecommunications company, where we went into looking in Bell Laboratories and research groups to find new products, new opportunities, and then would fund them in the same way that we talk about in this organization. Intel has this, Google has this, many different large companies have venture groups that fund not only internal but also external operations to try and grow and find these new opportunities and help support people who identify and then find the opportunity and try to make change happen by organizing others to exploit that opportunity. So those are the things that we talk about when we talk about building a uh, the, the key activities that are necessary to build an organization, to build an entrepreneurial business, change the markets, change society. And not only do they work for startups, but they work for large companies as well. Almost everything we talk about in this class is also currently active in large companies, not only in the U.S., but all over the world.